One of the most basic tools in SOLIDWORKS, indeed in any design or drawing software, is the selection tool. You have a mouse and you have a pointer. You point to something and click on it to select it as the target of some subsequent command or action. Seems pretty simple. But there are a number of variations, modifiers, and hotkeys available in SOLIDWORKS selection to make tedious jobs much easier if you know these tools exist and how to use them. That's the whole idea of this five-part series. Select exactly what you want, exactly when you want it, and do it quickly. From 2D sketches to massive assemblies, there are SOLIDWORKS selection tools and techniques that we can use to make our job much easier. Let's take a look at some of these tips and tricks right now. In sketches, there are a number of useful tools to augment the standard selection pointer tool that we're all familiar with. Of course, when you learn SOLIDWORKS, you know, either, even on your own, you typically are very familiar with the fact that the escape key is a hotkey. It actually will get you out of whatever sketch tool you're in and hitting escape will take you to the selection tool, which is the pointer. Now, just like in most systems here and most programs that have any graphics, the pointer tool lets you select things by just clicking on things. So if I hover over a line here, you can see that I'm selecting a line segment and I click on it, it's selected. I might have a heads up toolbar here to let me do some things to it, but moving away from that, we'll clear that out so you can see what we have. If I click on another sketch segment here, like this other line, you can see that now we have another line selected. If I click on this third one, same kind of situation. So selection by itself is just one at a time. Now, if I want to drop my selection, I can just click in the white background, and I'll drop whatever I have selected, and I can start selecting some new things. If I want to do multiple selections by clicking on things, you just hold on your control key. So I'll click on the first line segment, hold on my control key, click on the second line segment, on the control key and click on the third line segment. And I selected those three individually, click by click by click. Now, in the last, I don't know, probably 10 years in SOLIDWORKS, or I, don't, I can't remember exactly when they added this in, but um, you have the ability when you're hovering over sketch entities to light up the midpoint. So if I move my cursor over that midpoint, now you can see that is what I have lit up. That glyph on the cursor is showing midpoint now. If I click, now I selected that midpoint. You can see that right there. If I go ahead and do the same thing to the top, hold on my control key as I click along here, I'll select those three midpoints on those three line segments. Midpoints can also be selected with arcs. So if I come down here and ho hover over that arc, you'll see that the midpoint of that arc is available. I'll hover over that, hold on my control key. And now I can have, I can see I have four midpoints selected or four points selected. You can see also in the left-hand properties of the interface here that I have four points selected. Let's go ahead and clear that selection set by clicking the background. Now, I can also select individual items too, like again, arcs. I can select lines and points and things like that. But if there's a closed shape and you have the option to show shaded areas in closed shapes in your sketches, which is a system option that is on by default. If I go ahead and hover over an area, then I can select all the sketch entities that make up that closed shape. Whether it's that box, in this case here, I'll hover over the area, and you'll see that this is not just lines and arcs, but it's actually a sketch slot. You can see in the, in the properties that it's an actual sketch slot. And if I hover over the area of the overall main shape, then it'll select all those items as well. Okay, so let's talk about some other options for selection that we can use by just right clicking. If I right click on the uh, sketch entity in a where there's a chain, essentially, where there's a group of them connected, I have an option to select the chain. That'll select all the entities in that chain by itself. Now, you can see here that I selected a chain that there looks to be another extra sketch segment, a line segment, superimposed on here. 
problem is I can't really select it. I'm always it always wants to light up the bigger segment, not the smaller segment. So what I could do is I can right click. This is only on a right click menu, but it's not um, text. It's going to be on the heads up display here. The select other command. What that will do is it will show the sketch segments superimposed on top of each other, and I can just move my cursor over each one, see which one it. I want, I can click on it, it'll actually select that entity. In this case, I want to go ahead and delete that extraneous geometry. Okay, what about selecting multiple items without having to click, click, click with the control key held down all the time? Well, by default in SOLIDWORKS, you can do a box selection. So I just start dragging a box. If I go from the left to the right, everything that's completely inside of the area when I move the, drag the box out there, will then be selected. So I drag that box over those entities, you'll see that those those uh, five line segments are selected, the three line segments and the two arcs, because that those are the things that were completely inside of the box area when I dragged it. If I drag from right to left, now everything that the box crosses will be selected. So that will include those extra horizontal line segments on the bottom there, and also it'll include that dimension as well. Okay, now we do have another option for area select. So if I right click here, I get selection tools and instead of a box selection, I can change that to be a, a lasso selection. Now lasso selections can be pretty complicated if you wanna go kind of crazy like that. Um, but usually people are just kind of drawing what I call squishy balloons to kind of avoid certain things. I'll just show the basics of how this works. You know, if I go, clockwise, like so. Again, everything in terms of sketch entity that's inside of that balloon completely, and then that lassoed area is gonna be selected. But you will also notice that in the lasso command, no matter how you use it, it's going to also always select any dimensions that it crosses. That's just a quirk of the tool um, right now. Fortunately, when you're doing multi-select in SOLIDWORKS with the control key, it's a toggle on or off. So if I select too much and I don't want that dimension, I can just hold on my control key and click on that dimension. And it'll drop that from the selection that I have active. Okay, let's do the lasso, but in the other direction. So I'm going to now go counterclockwise. As I do that, you will see that it behaves just like the opposite of the box, right? So everything counterclockwise, everything that 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 balloon extends crosses will then be selected. Now there are some other selection options we have as well. If we go ahead and look at the drop down menu of the selection tool itself. Now, a lot of these selection tools are grayed out because they only are applicable in 3D models and we'll get to those things in a subsequent video. But let's just take a look at the tools we have in sketch mode. So we have this thing called a magnified selection also known as a magnifying glass. It attaches basically a magnifying glass to my cursor. Wherever I move it, it's gonna kinda of push that magnifying glass around. And that makes it really easy for me to select small things without having to zoom in and out all the time. If I don't wanna see this magnifying glass anymore, I can either go back up to the menu or the toggle for this, the keyboard shortcut, is the letter G as in glass. So G will bring it up and G will dismiss it. You can see in the drop-down menu, another place where you can toggle between box selection and lasso selection. And then we have this other very useful modifier here called select over geometry. Now, what is that for? Well, in the case of a sketch, say I wanna box select some of these interior shapes like the circles, for example. If I have an enclosed area and the shading's turned on, if I try to drag a rectangle to start selecting, it's going to grab the shape because that's something that I can click on. So I'm gonna undo that drag and we're going to use the option to select over geometry. As I select these things, it's going to know that underlying geometry does not count as part of my drag. So I turn this on. And by the way, the keyboard shortcut for this is the letter T, okay? But if I, now if I start dragging a rectangle, it's gonna to know to ignore the underlying geometry, in this case, the shape. And it will hold that setting as I continue box selecting with the control key held down 
until I drop the selection or do another tool. So that is still on. It's still effective until I click on something or do some other item and then that will be turned off. And again, the way you turn that on in the keyboard is the letter T as in top, I guess. Now, when we're doing these selections, there is one other thing we might want to do at some point, which is to select everything. Now, there is a drop down for that, select all, but the universal kind of Windows program keyboard shortcut for select all, whether you're in Word or whatever, is Control A, and that works here as well. So Control A will select everything in my sketch, um, all the sketch entities, all the dimensions, and everything else in just a one fell swoop. Now you might say, well, Jeff, there's a lot of times where maybe I want to select things, but I know I don't want to select the dimensions. So how do I, you know, select just the sketch and not the dimensions? Well, again, with careful selection, again, box selection, left to right, you can do that. But there is a way to do a filter. So F5, if you remember from your essentials training, is the filter command. And the filter command is used a lot in 3D, which will, again, we'll be doing more of this in subsequent videos. But in this case here, I want to call your attention to one filter that I find particularly useful when editing sketches, and that is filter sketch segments, not filter sketches themselves, but sketch segments. With this turned on, no matter what I do, it's only going to pick up sketch segments. It will ignore dimensions. And that goes with crossing right to left. That goes with using the lasso tool. If I want to do lasso selection and, and go clockwise and get the behavior I want, it, that works is there as well. And it also works with just the control A. If I select everything with this filter turned on, it's going to ignore dimensions or anything that's not a sketch segment. So very handy to know about that. And again, if I want to turn that off an easy way, there are other ways you can work with the sketch filters and filters in general. That's a topic for another video, but I can just toggle that on. You can see my filters on, toggle it off, and I can just dismiss this or hit F5 again to dismiss that. I hope you've learned some new aspect of SOLIDWORKS selection that'll help you in your next project. Make sure to watch all the other videos in this five-part deep dive series on SOLIDWORKS selection tools and techniques, and feel free to like and share these on social media. As always, contact GSC for any questions, comments, or for more information. See you next time.